<laughs> okay, yeah, interesting. So you're a scrum master. An agile coach has just popped up on the scene. How do you work with them? Um, it depends. Number one, own it. You're an agile coach as well. Scrum masters are agile coaches. They're just focused on scrum. Okay. Agile coaches may or may not be. They may be focused on teams. They may not. So step one, acknowledge you're an agile coach. Take that on board. They aren't better than you. They're just there to do a different role. Step two, go and have a chat. A good agile coach will be open. They will be incredibly transparent about what they're there to do, why they're there to do it, and how they intend to approach the problem. If they're cagey, if they're trying to take you somewhere else, personally, I would start questioning whether they're an agile coach at all, or are they somebody else who picked up a job title? Okay, but put that to one side. They're there to do a job. They're going to talk to you. They're going to want to talk to you. Agile coaches working at an organisational, across a whole organisation, should I say, need the support of everybody else. They need to be able to point to good. They need to be able to point to better. Okay. They need the support of the Scrum Master, of other team level coaches, of the developers. They need the support of everybody in this Agile ecosystem. Because without them, they just look a bit daft. If I go in and I work with the board and I say this agile thing's great, you will see this level of improvement. You'll see this, 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 this. All these benefits are yours if you get on board. They quite rightly will challenge me. And if I'm challenged, I need to be able to point to something not in a different organisation. I need to be able to point to it in their organisation. There is no point being stood in a bank and saying this is what you will see and having to point to a tech company to show them it working. Because they will just say, yeah, but we're not one of those. We're a bank. Show me a bank that does it. So you have to show a bank. Okay? And the strongest bank to show them is their own. So what we have to remember is this is an alliance. This is a partnership. What you want to do is go and talk to them. Understand why they're there, how they can help you, how you can help them. Okay? Agile coaches, as a profession, are incredibly approachable and open people. We are there to help, help the organisation, help the individuals. Personally, I would likely be there to help you be better at what you do. So coming and talking to me would be great because it means I don't have to come find you. I don't have to hunt you down in an organisation and say, we should have a chat at some point, see if anything that I'm doing will get in the way of what you're doing or help you. And it's what I'm going to do anyway with any Scrum Masters and Agile coaches in the immediate area. So if an Agile coach appears, don't see it as a threat. Please, please, I hope it's not that they are going to take the organisational change off your hands. It's that they are going to support what you're doing and you are going to support what they're there for. Agile coaches are often brought in to do different roles to Scrum Masters. Scrum Masters maintain a team focus. Yes, they have an organisational remit, but really that organisational remit is to help them create effective teams for product delivery. Agile coaches may be doing that, and you need to understand, are they just called an Agile coach rather than a Scrum Master because it's what it says on their business card? Or are they there to help with a different type of work? Are they there to help the organisation understand the values? Are they there to bring about Kanban? Are they there to work with the leadership and help support cultural change? They could be doing one or many of many things. Okay. Have a chat with them. Grab a coffee if you're going to do it in person. Sit down. Have a chat. What do they want? What do they need? What do you want? What do you need? How can you work together to make it better than the sum of its parts? Okay. Don't be scared of them. Don't push back against them. Okay. Work with them in the same way as they won't be scared of you, I hope, and they won't want to push back against you and minimise your role. They'll want you to be the best Scrum Master you can be. I hope you'll want them to be the best Agile coach they can be. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, Drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.